it's hammer time. You want to dance with me, Jason? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Okay, this is when we like to help you with home improvement tips. And there are mistakes to avoid before you start a new project. So that's why we invited Jason McCullough. He joins us once again to help us out. Good to see you. Hi there. From Brothers Redevelopment, you do so much in our community. And I know you're getting ready for your annual paint-a-thon. Yes. So what are the guidelines if somebody wants to send in an application? What should they look for? Sure. Well, you need to be a senior, um, 16 and older, uh, own your home. And basically, that's it. After that, it's really a down to uh, kind of your... Be, be lower fixed income have a need okay you know? so if you're a senior you own your home you need mm -hmm. a nice fresh coat of paint then call the number below 720-339-5864 that's 720-339-5864 today we're doing spring cleaning mistakes and what we need to avoid right yeah some DIY stuff yeah. and of course it's okay to buy the cheapest materials or no I tend not to because they won't hold up as long, okay. um, especially with hardware and kind of the tools you buy. I brought, you know, this is a three inch brush that's probably about five or six dollars less than this nicer brush. Okay. But this has so much more use, and if you clean it, this will last a lot longer than this one. Okay, so let's show that. This is the nicer brush, mm -hmm. and this one is like, what, five, six dollars? This is probably cheaper? three to four dollars oh, okay. cheaper. Yeah, this is a little bit more, and it just, you know, there's more uses, lasts longer, built better better bristle and see notice the angle right uh, you can get to better spots yep. is it okay to buy products online then because you won't be able to touch and actually see the bristles I tell people it's fine if you're familiar with what you're purchasing and always read the reviews and make sure it's from a reputable website and many people think before a project budget 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 mm -hmm. isn't important but things we can do quickly what are some of the, your thoughts when you, we think about stuff like that you know try to add up your materials especially if it's a DIY project mm -hmm. add up your materials and then add 10% because something's going to happen you're going to have to go back and get more that's the true yeah. so if you're creating your budget add 10 percent to it just in case something happens mm -hmm. and how important is it to test an area before you actually start your project i always especially with something like painting or uh, we're going to do some tile work today always put it in the room and then let it sit there for a while do a small area and let it sit for a while so you see it in different lights how important is it to measure your area before oh, starting I, your DIY. I know a lot of people like to eyeball and use the old thumb trick. I measure twice and then write it down just in case. Okay. Always, yeah. And again, this is Jason McCullough from Brothers Redevelopment, and he's giving us some great advice today. You can go to brothersredevelopment.org. Is it necessary to seek out professional help before you do your own project? You know, it helps to get some consulting if you have that availability. Also, if you're going to alter anything with like your electrical system or your plumbing system mm -hmm. or move any framing or anything that's structural you always want to check with your city because you're probably gonna have to pull a permit for oh that's that. true that's yeah. true okay now let's focus specifically on grout sure this is DIY what you can do yeah. at home how do we start well you want to choose which grout you need so I brought mm -hmm. it kind of a vignette here we've got some wall tile you can see here they're self spaced so it's very thin grout mm -hmm. joints that's when you use the non sanded and there's two different types of grout there's sanded and non sanded mm -hmm. so I pre mix some some non sanded and it's real creamy you should mix it to about like kind of a, a peanut butter consistency okay and then you just spread that on and wipe it off anything larger than a one eighth of an inch you want to use sanded grout and, and that's what we're gonna that mix here. today yep you're gonna mix okay. that Okay, so here. let me show what it looks like ahead of time before I do this. Yep, just a powder. You okay. can buy this stuff pre-mixed, but it doesn't keep very long. It's much dif more difficult to clean off. Okay. Um, I just like buying the powder because you can control the, the, the density and kind of control better, and it lasts a lot longer. So I go. You're just going to wet a sponge? Yep, so I don't actually pour the water oh into no, it? Oh, no, because you can always add more. But if you add too much water, then you got to add more it. grout. Yeah. And I'm just stirring it like this. Yep. It's really that easy? Yeah, just stir it. A little bit more there. You have to be patient with it because... It's kind of just like mixing, yeah, yeah. mixing dough kind of thing. Okay. And this is uh, tricks that you can do at home if you want to update your grout. Are, is all grout gray like this or can you no, do you no, add a little coloring? No, there's huge <laughs> color. Yeah, we just did gray because I try to tell people to always use neutral colors in their grout. Right. You can buy blue, green, red. Oh, so the powder comes of, different colors yeah, already. Yeah, it's pre-dyed, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that a good... It, it's not as smooth as the other one. Do we no, need more water? No, it's got the sand, so it'll be a little more chalky okay. so that's actually good you want your grout drier is better than wetter because because the wetter it is the more it'll sag all so right kind of want it this is perfect you got it so it holds on your perfect trowel what do we do next we have about a minute left so yeah we would let it sit for 10 minutes oh great yeah. okay so uh, no you're gonna place it on your tile and then you're gonna grab your trowel and just wipe that in can I do that yeah pull that okay. through Kind of at a diagonal works a little better. And press it in those joints. There you go. Go just, back by, by yep, it like that. Yep, just press it right in there. There you go. Can I do it all over like this? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, Smear okay. it all over. 
Nice. Yeah, there you I go. need a little bit more. What mistakes do we need to avoid? <laughs> Well, you don't want to let it sit and dry too long once you've got it on the tile. You want to wait okay. till you get, and I'll wipe it a little off so you can see here, but you want to wait till it gets that kind of a dusty shine to it, mm -hmm. and then you uh, wipe it off right away. And okay. always wipe three times, and always use a tile sponge, what? otherwise you'll have what's called haze. Haze? And haze, yeah, it's kind of, it looks like it's, you can see all the white marks, yeah. and it's really difficult to get that off once it's set. Okay, wipe it and see how good I did. I think there's right, here we go. still some spots behind me. I think you did it. really good. Really? Yeah, I think you did. Oh my so gosh, I feel so proud. Look at how. This is my first time so I've ever. So nice. I mean, that's why I married, that. so my husband does the grout, really. <laughs> <You go>. yep, <laughs> nice I just married him for his grout talent. For his grouting skills? Yeah, my <laughs> wife's same way. You did awesome, Jason. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, I no really problem. appreciate it. Let me give them all the contact information to get a hold of you sure guys. Thing. Again, if you'd like to learn more about the work that this guy does, Jason, and he can help others, too, go online to brothersredevelopment.org. That web address, again, is brothersredevelopment.org. You can also call 303-202-6340 with any questions. Now, if you're interested in sending in an application for the upcoming Paint-a-thon, here's the number to use. It's 720-339-5864. That number again, if you need a fresh coat of paint on your house, you own that house and you're a senior, 720-339-5864. And just a reminder, what you saw on today's show is not necessarily a service provided under the mission of Brothers Redevelopment.